Hey everyone, and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you my OBS sound settings and more specifically, you know, the settings I use for my noise gate, noise suppression, equalizer, compressor, and my gain. So if you in OBS were to click on this gear cog, and a side note, I'm on version 19.0.3, so make sure you don't have, like if this video is super old, it might change in the future, so just be aware of that. So if you were to go to this gear cog here and click filters, it's going to load up this panel over here and basically apply these filters to your microphone or audio. So starting off, the first, um, I'm going to go ahead and just disable everything that I have enabled right now. So as you can tell, as I'm talking now, this is the default level of my microphone and I'm using a dynamic microphone, so it's kind of low to begin with. So starting off, I do add gain. So I went ahead and added a gain filter. So down here I can say gain. And that is default to an 18. So basically when I turn that on, my microphone is a little bit more loud. It's easier to hear. Um, and this is going to be useful for when we apply the later filters. The second thing you might notice is that if I just let my mic sit here and don't say anything, you can kind of hear a lot of static. And that's because, you know, my computer is making noise. Um, my AC unit is blowing air, so you can kind of pick up that noise. So if you were to go down here and add another filter called noise suppression, it's a good way to kind of remove that noise. So in the default setting is negative 30. So if I were to enable this, you can now tell that it sounds a little less noisy. And if I were to stop talking, notice how a lot of that noise that you heard before is no longer visible. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is with the noise. And this is with the out, without the noise. So the third setting that I'm going to use is a noise gate. So again, built into OBS, the default, you can go to add and then say noise gate. Basically, the noise gate is used for cutting out signals that don't um, pass a certain threshold level. So if I were to stop talking and then after X amount of milliseconds, you'll notice that it'll cut off my microphone. So basically, if I were to enable the noise gate, and then right after I'm done talking, you'll notice that the volume is cut completely to zero. Right, so the noise gate again is good for cutting off like if I were to breathe or something or go away from the microphone and make some random noise. It probably won't grab that and add it to the recording. So for my second to last setup, I have a EQ going. So the VST I'm using, if you go to add and go to VST 2.x plugin, I have a list of different um, VSTs that are installed on my computer. So one of them is called M Equalizer, which is an open uh, free to download um, package. So if you go to meldaproduction.com and then go to download the zip of whatever you need for your computer, this will pretty much install a bunch of different plugins that you can use for free. So again, in this case, I'm using M Equalizer and I can open up that plugin interface here. And you'll notice here for my settings, I don't do too much. Basically, I cut off the low frequencies up to about 100 hertz and then between 100 and 200 hertz I kind of boost the bass a little bit to give it a more like warm and bassy feel and then for the high frequencies I go ahead and boost that a little bit more than I did the low just so that it makes my articulation a little bit better you can hear the words clearer so that's with everything off and again I'll go ahead and enable that and you can see that it kind of makes um, everything sound a little bit more bassy and a little bit more clear. And I, th I think I like the sound of this a little bit more. And then finally, the fifth plugin is the compression. I'll enable this and I'll go to the interface. So again, this is using in compressor, which is part of that package over here that you can download for free. And for the settings here, I have a threshold of negative 12. Gain and output gain are the same, but one is 14 positive, 14 negative. And you can see as I talk, this white line is basically my voice and the red line is a threshold. So anytime my voice goes over the threshold, it's going to do compression onto my voice. And you don't want it to be compressing everything you say. So maybe a threshold of like, I don't know, eight point whatever is a little bit better. But basically if you get too loud, it's going to compress it. And then if you stay soft, it'll just not, not mess with it at all. And then the ratio is this, the curve here. So this is a ratio of three, but changes to a ratio of like one, it doesn't really do much compression. Yeah, so that is my OBS setup. And um, hopefully this tutorial gave you a quick guide as to how to make your recording sound a little bit more professional and easier to 
listen to on the ears. Again, my name is Cody, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.